Welcome to the He's Got Issues DC Comics Edition number 162.2. I'm John Cooney here to preview new DC Comics being released February 25th, 2015, beginning alphabetically with Aquaman number 39. Aquaman's mother is alive and she wants him dead. Welcome to the family reunion from hell. Next we've got Arkham Manor number 5. The insanity of Arkham Manor floods the streets of Gotham City. We've also got Batman number 39, Endgame part 5, The Joker is back, the penultimate issue of the Clown Prince of Crime's horrifying return. Plus, in the backup story, the inmates and Marine finally learn the truth about the Joker. Next, we have Batman 66 number 20, Gotham City has a new hero in town, Joker Man. Can it be? Has the Clown Prince of Crime now become a comedic crime fighter? This new Joker seems to be sincere about lassoing the lawless by rounding up all the criminals, including some of his former allies. In fact, he's so good at it, the citizenry wonders if they still need Batman and Robin at all. We've also got Batman Eternal number 47. In the new order of Gotham City, Selina Kyle holds all the cards, and now it's up to Master Spy Julia Pennyworth to steal them back. Next, we have Bodies number 8 of 8. As Edmund solves the case of his life, Whiteman and Maplewood are offered the chance to save the world in very different ways, and Shahara uncovers the final mystery at the heart of Bodies. We've also got Catwoman number 39. Will Selina save Gotham City, or will she burn it to the ground? Next, we have Deathstroke number 5. Deathstroke versus Batman, with Harley Quinn stuck in the middle. The most intense, brutal battle in the history of the New 52 takes place in this issue. We've also got Earth 2 World's End number 21. Does Oliver Queen hold the answers to saving Earth 2? Next we have Effigy number 2. Homicide detective Grant Moore teams with neophyte police officer slash resident TV kid cop expert Chandra Jackson to piece together the clues left when a strange body is unearthed in Effigy Mound, Ohio. What's even stranger than an eons old corpse with a bullet hole in the head is the contents of its body, and when the pair meets a witness they discover a twisted tie to Chandra's pre-Hollywood fame. Meanwhile there's something odd brewing at the Influence Center bookstore. What is its disturbing connection to the mysterious corpse? We've also got The Flash number 39. Barry Allen is trapped in the Speed Force while an imposter wreaks havoc at home. Can the fastest man alive make it back in time to put things right? Next we have Gotham Academy number 5. This month's assignment, Uncover the Hideous Secrets of Gotham Academy's North Hall. Also, Smooching. We've also got Gotham by Midnight number 4. Dr. Sandus Tar is far from what anyone would consider social, but will it turn out he's more at home with an insect monster savaging Gotham City than he is with the Midnight Shift? Next we have He-Man the Eternity War number 3. High above the sands of time, She-Ra leads Stratos and an aerial squadron in search of the Eye of Chrono. Their mission is jeopardized by the appearance of Catra, Scorpia, and a Horde army. Will the Princess of Power defeat these women from her past and retrieve the Eye? The Eternity War is just getting started. We've also got Justice League Dark number 39. The JLD is reunited, but being lost in the time stream could not prepare them to confront the living embodiment of time itself and she's hungry. Next we have Mortal Kombat X number 3. Scorpion and his newest companion set off in deadly pursuit of Raiden. Meanwhile, as the daughter of Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade, Cassie Cage thinks she's seen it all, but when she finds herself in an illegal MMA deathmatch, Cassie must decide if she's ready for her first taste of Mortal Kombat. We've also got New 52 Futures End number 43, major fallout from last issue's shocking demise of humanity's one hope against Apocalypse. Next we have Red Lanterns number 39, the rage left behind on Earth following the atrocitous war is spreading and in danger of erupting at any moment. Guy is determined to purge the world in order to save it, but can a man looking to die stop a primal force on a heavily populated planet? We've also got Sandman Overture Special Edition number 4. This special edition will include the entire fourth issue of the new miniseries Before Coloring, giving readers a behind-the-scenes look at J.H. Williams' unique process. Williams' original coloring will be shown in addition to the black, white, and gray tones of the original work. Plus, the lettering will be translucent, allowing the reader to see the exquisite artwork behind the word balloons. This issue also features a Q&A with a member of the creative team and an exclusive look at new material. Next we have Secret Origins number 10. Get ready for the new 52 origins of Batgirl, Firestorm, and Poison Ivy. We've also got Sinestro number 10. Sinestro's Siege of Warworld has gone badly and now Mongol is more powerful than ever. The leader of the Yellow Lantern still may have a trick or two up his sleeve, but then so does the planetary dictator with a grudge. 
Next, we have Star Spangled War Stories featuring G.I. Zombie number 7. G.I. Zombie and Carmen find themselves up against the biggest terrorist threat ever, and it's in the heart of our country. Can't two stand a chance against thousands, or is all lost as the United States of Apocalypse begins? And we've got Suiciders number 1 in the post-apocalyptic city of New Angeles. Killing isn't just a crime, it's entertainment. When the big one finally hit the West Coast, Los Angeles was left in ruins. And when the U.S. government decided to cut the city loose, things went from bad to worse. To survive, L.A. did what it does best. It turned survival into entertainment. Now, 30 years later, the city of New Angeles is thriving once more thanks to the blood sport known as Suiciders, a TV series that combines the spectacle of hand-to-hand combat with elaborate high-tech obstacles that test each competitor's ability to survive. But these competitors have an edge. They've been freakishly enhanced by drugs and technology. The results are both marvelous and monstrous, as the man called the saint begins to rise above his fellow suiciders. Suiciders is a dark post-apocalyptic epic that tells the story of a strange, brutal world, written and illustrated by Lee Bermejo, the number one New York Times best-selling writer, artist behind Joker, Batman Noel, Luther, and before Watchmen, Rorschach. Out in trades this week, we've got Batwing Volume 5 Into the Dark trade paperback. The Gotham Underground is about to boil over with anarchy, and no matter who triumphs, Batwing will be the first target. You must travel into the madness that is the Gotham Underground to put an end to those behind the uprising. Will Batman Inc. be in the market for a new Batwing? Collects Batwing number 27 through 34 and Batwing Futures End number 1. Next, we have He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Volume 4, What Lies Within trade paperback. Randor's quest for the Sorceress continues in these tales from issues 7 through 12. Deep in Subternia, the Masters of the Universe face unimaginable horrors. The harrowing nightmares of the Ring of Dreams threatens to overwhelm He-Man and Randor. Meanwhile, on the Ring of Earth, Moss Man is dying, and the final gamble of the King may prove fatal. We've also got Justice League Dark Volume 5 Paradise Lost trade paperback. The fallout from the Jail Dark's battle with Blight and the Trinity of Sin during Forever Evil has left the team in tatters. As Zatanna takes charge, an angry and confused team must put aside their differences to battle the Pantheon. Collects issues number 30 through 34 and Justice League Dark Futures end number 1. And we've got Scooby-Doo team-up trade paperback. Scooby and the gang meet some of the DC Universe's greatest heroes in these stories from issues 1 through 6, including Batman, Robin, Wonder Woman, and the Teen Titans, as they take on the monstrous threats of Man-Bat, explore a Titan's Tower mystery, and meet the unpredictable imp known as scooby Might. Okay, so that's it for DC this week, but of course there's still plenty of other books out this week too, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at He's Got Issues.com to see both the Marvel and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Instagram to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney. And I've got issues.